Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about introductory vocabulary and basic concepts in the statistics chapter. The first term we're going to learn is population. When we refer to a population, we're talking about all the items of interest. In contrast to a sample, which includes some of the items in the population. So for example, we might look at a list of all the ages of all 35 students in a particular statistics class. That would be the entire population of the statistics class. By contrast, we might look at data from a survey of just eight of the students in the same statistics class asking their ages. That would be a sample. So a population includes all the items of interest, whereas a sample includes some of the items in the population. This is related to the two main areas of statistics. Descriptive statistics has to do with collecting, organizing, summarizing, and presenting data. This is often what we do when we collect data from the entire population. For example, the U.S. Census that occurs every 10 years attempts to collect every single piece of information from the entire population of the United States. Inferential statistics has to do with drawing inferences or conclusions about populations based on information from just a sample of the population. The distinction between population and sample is so important that we even use different notation when we're talking about populations from when we're talking about samples. Information that's been collected but not yet organized or processed is called raw data. Data can be categorized as quantitative, which you can think of as numerical, or qualitative, which you can think of as non-numerical or descriptive. For example, some quantitative data might be the number of siblings in 10 different families, being 3, 1, 2, 1, 5, 4, 3, 3, 8, and 2. Whereas qualitative data might refer to the makes of five different automobiles, Toyota, Ford, Nissan, Chevrolet, and Honda. One of the advantages of quantitative data is that it can be sorted or ranked in mathematical order or numerical order. So for example, we could take the data about the number of siblings and rearrange it into the order 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 5, 8. We can also do other calculations with quantitative data. Be careful because sometimes numbers can be qualitative data too. For example, the player numbers of players on a football team on their jerseys, we have numbers, but these numbers are really just a way of identifying the player. They don't have any particular meaning in terms of value. For example, player number one is not less valuable than player number 10. One helpful way of organizing and communicating about data is to put it into a visual display. We will look at several kinds frequency distributions, grouped frequency distributions, stem and leaf displays, bar graphs, circle graphs, and line graphs. We'll look at these in detail in the next couple of videos. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.